Today is August the 16th and I've just finished playing a game here and it's a wild game alright. A wild game and you came out on top. Look at this blunders, eight blunders, three blunders. Really really bad move here. Uh, there's a two great move and four great move but really the blunders just kills me. This is the lowest score I've had in a while. And of course there's one miss win. I wonder what that is. We'll go for it next time uh, uh, soon here yeah, next uh, seven mistakes the, I really don't care about that much because usually the computer puts out uh, some mistake and the thing is about here is that look at all these blunders and white was winning all the way up to the end and when he makes a mistake and suddenly boom uh, just lost so let's begin And King Fianchetto opening. Usually I put the pawn over here so as to contest that bishop over there. But uh, we're good for now. Here's a little trick over here. Uh, if the pawn takes here, queen takes here, check, and maybe. Uh, Bishop goes here and then Queen takes pawn. So little little tricks like that. Now the Queen here is kind of aggressive. Uh, so there's only only one thing to do and me try to harass the Queen. And that's a mistake. And I should be able to capitalize uh, that mistake. This is minus five, but I'm unable to do so, unfortunately. Uh, the only thing I can think of is like this thing right here, and like that. But that turns out to be a mistake. So we'll see what happens. And that's a tricky one. I will not be able to see that. Uh, here, I'm not to a winning position. Uh -huh. Let's show the moves. And I officially will miss that. Uh, I won't be able to see that so well that's computer for you so check this out I ran out of moves uh, cannot hassle the queen anymore but maybe there is a different way oh I considered about that but uh, I don't want to spend the time thinking about it so mm -hmm. so and will you look at that like three questionable moves one after another like this is really interesting over here because i'm not happy about it but apparently all the blunders are added in one section Overlook of to certain winning material. So let's check that one out. Mm -hmm. So I get uh, an extra pawn. Sure, that was a mistake. Uh -huh. Okay. And winning the pawn. If I face a blunder, but it's not being marked as such. You are losing material this way, and yes. Uh, 
Oh, look at that. That's an interesting one. I should have done it first, yeah. Uh, I should have done that. But a mistake is a mistake. So, and there's a question over here whether I should uh, go take the pawn or should I push the pawn over here. So that is a question over there. Turns out I did it right, push the pawn. And this is a question on this, let your opponent kick your piece. Uh, and that's a mistake, uh, interestingly enough. Because uh, the idea is uh, to cut off the pawn protection so White can take black spawn next. But this is a very inspired move over here because if Queen takes here, uh, no wait a minute. If uh, yeah, if if Queen takes there over here, or maybe Rook takes there, Queen goes here and mate. So. That's really inspired move. So this is very forcing, and the uh, only way what can do is push the rook here. So this is really inspired move. Sure enough, over there, and this is a question. Look, you overlook a chance to defend a hanging piece, but this is what is known as a Poison move. This is this is a poison move. Basically, uh, black dares the white to take this pawn over here, over here. So that's very interesting. Of course, that's this is not an objectively best move, but. It's very interesting move, very provocative move. And sure enough it did. And as you can see, that's the point of the rook move of here. Pop there and there you go. And at this point, what is barely winning? And there's only one good move. Uh, turns out I can win material. Of course, and during time trouble, I do not know how to do it. But so this is where the computer is useful over here. And all right, so the the idea here is to take the pawn over here and prevent the queen to do a check, so this will do it, but I just didn't see it, so mm, next move, oh that's an inspired move, huh? your opponent is better, but now they have a winning advantage, and it's like, you can take a look at it and say, Wow, that's high affiliation there. You can see the affiliation here very high. So, mm -hmm. so that mistake. I wonder what's the best move over there. And that's in fight draw basically. At this point in time, I pretty much give up on the game. So, uh, <laughs> pretty much just pretty much give up on the game. So. And that's a mistake, that's a mistake, and I was able to take 
advantage of it right here. And there we go. And apparently, I was able to capture an undefended piece. Huh, that's strange. I wonder what piece is undefended because the only thing I know is either here or here. And let's see what the computer says here. Oh, over there. Totally missed it. Well, uh, of course I'm thinking this point over here is free, so so that's what I'm going for. Why is that thing has a question mark? Still, take, uh, you know, I'm still taking the pawn over there, so. Anyway, the game was close to equal, but now you're in tough position. I just don't see why I would do that move. Uh, Mr. This computer, I suppose. And this is the, po the point of me capturing the knight with the rook because I can do this now. But you can tell over here, computer is not too impressed because he's got 11 points. So, so somewhere along the line, must have a winning move for white and let's see what that is. Why would I do that? Why would I do that? That's the best? No, that's not best. And I was prepared to do that. Basically, I was thinking queen goes here, king goes here, and I was just waiting for the move to go there. So, you know, uh, king goes there and then queen goes here. And, well, basically stuck right there, over here, and then king goes back. And I just don't see any mating combination, but this one says, what has great advantage, so maybe the computer knows something, I don't. Very inspired move, I know I, I had to cut this square, so either queen move here or rook move here, and this had to, to the rook. That's how that's a good thing. And that's a deadly mistake. At this point in time, I was thinking, I'm going to win this one. <laughs> I'm going to win this one. Uh, because uh, over here, you can see the square is undefended over here. If I uh, check here, and like there's nothing to it, and I got over here, take that one, and I have material advantage. Yeah, this is also minus nine. So whatever it is, yeah, you know, it's got to be good there. So lots of winning advantages. This one says loss of fork. Uh, I actually don't see the fork.
Good job finding that for uh -huh. And believe it or not, that is my idea uh, to do that. Although I probably would just take the pawn there immediately. So it fuck with the pawn over there. And yep, that's it. And at this point in time, I know I want the rook to move here, over there and check this squares here and here are covered so there's only one way uh, the king can move and that's the, the first rank and I was entertaining mating combination at this point so it's still not a mating combination for some reason the computer can see that that's a uh, Great advantage, but it's not a mating combination. And now that one has made into. Okay, so now that's missing. At this point in time, Queen sacrifice like that, that means I'm winning. So, uh, really. Rook takes uh, queen, king takes rook, uh, check, uh, threatening the queen over here. Uh, then knight goes here, and then pawn goes here, and I win the knight. So, easy win from this point. And that's made in two, right? So, one. To and actually, I miss one, right? Over here, I could have just got over here and met. Yeah, I made in one over here. Or that way, mate. So, <laughs> I missed that made in one. What do you know? Anyway, that is the game for today. I hope you enjoy it. See you tomorrow.